Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Richards, thank you for your testimony. I'm going to try to take the emotion out of it and stick strictly to the numbers. Earlier you said you need to consider the source, so everything that I'll be quoting comes from Planned Parenthood. Uh, it is my understanding that 3 percent, according to your website and your testimony today, 3 percent of the services that Planned Parenthood offers are abortion services. Is that correct? 3 percent. Of your total services, 3 percent. Sorry, my mic wasn't on. 3 percent of the services delivered, I mean, of the total services. But yet you say that you don't have the total amount of money, you can't give this committee the total amount of money that you make or receive for abortions. Is that correct? It is because the National Office doesn't, as you know, or may not know, but the National Office doesn't provide health care services. Fifty-nine affiliates provide a variety of health care services, so that would be right, every, well, every single organization would be But, but your affiliates gather that information, so you would have access to that. Well, I am sure they have it. I don't have it myself. Okay. But how do you come up with 3 percent? So, uh, that is so the let number me, of services. Let, because we, well, let, me go, let, me, let me ask the question. Okay. 2.7 million women and men are served by Planned Parenthood, according to your testimony. Is that correct? 2.7. That is correct. Annually, you provide, uh, according to your, your report, 327,000 plus abortions last year, according to your annual report. I do the math, 2.7 million people, 327,000 abortions. That comes up to 12 percent. So how, how do you get 3 percent? And these are your numbers. Why is it not 12 percent? Well, because people come to us for, some people come to us more than once, and they come to us for different services, and some people come to us and they need, they need a pap smear, right, they well, need a variety well, of services. Let's go on a little bit further, because I'm, I'm having a real trouble mm -hmm. coming to this. And if you would put up uh, the graph uh, on, uh, this is a tax return from one of your affiliates in Rochester, Syracuse region. If you could read for me line 2B. What does that say? What is the designation there? Uh, pregnancy termination. Okay. And the, dollar, and the dollar amount next to pregnancy termination there is how much? It, again, I don't, I've never seen this before, so I'm simply reading what you're asking me to read. Uh, 1,424,275. I'm assuming. All right. So, $1,424,000 for pregnancy termination according to your affiliate's tax return. One affiliate, correct. Okay. So I mean, would you have tax returns for all your affiliates where we could get this information? Well, I know that we have provided. Okay. Because here's, here's my concern. If you take the number, that $1.4 million, and divide it into the total revenue of a little over $5 million, that would indicate revenues of almost 28 percent for abortions. Well, I so think where does the 3 percent? Services and I think you are mixing services and revenue, because obviously above the above line says family planning, $3,718,474. But wouldn't you think the 3 percent is a little bit misleading? No, actually, we, have, we calculate, I mean, we are, well, I would say we are the most highly regulated organization probably in this country. Well, I would we, disagree with that, but uh, let me, well, let me anyway, ask and, you. But we are very transparent I've, about our numbers. I have got this for one of your affiliates. Will you provide this same kind of documentation for all your affiliates to this committee? I believe I, we actually already have. No, you haven't. We, well, I am I, 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 happy to speak to the chairman would, because we have, I this believe. This is the only one that had it. Will you today, yes or no, provide this for all your affiliates? We have produced all 990. Okay, well, we just have a disagreement of opinion, and I'm happy to well, talk. Well, it's not to a Chair disagreement. Will you provide the number? I, we have of already revenue. provided the 990s for all of our affiliates, and but, so that's what. But it didn't what, outline it like this. Well, maybe perhaps. So, are you I don't, saying that you don't keep track of it? You said that. I did not say no, that. No, I'm asking you. Do you keep track of it? Every single affiliate in Planned Parenthood meets with all the laws and regulations, and they file their 990s. And that is a great answer to a question I didn't we've, ask. We've provided, Would you provide it to this committee? I don't exactly know what it is, since I have said to okay, you well, repeatedly, I'll tell you what we've it is, provided it is. The, the 990s. The revenue that you, Planned Parenthood, derives from abortions. And I have said to you, we have, we have provided 
And we have been extremely cooperative with this committee and the other three committees. And we have provided all the 990s, all the audited, audited annual statements of our affiliates. And if there is anything after, uh, I am happy to talk to the, the staff here about what else is needed that we are not providing. Because I, I really believe we have gone above and beyond in providing everything that has been requested of us. Okay, my time has expired. I will yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.